Hello and welcome to Fridge Cam. If you eat food, then this is the show for you. In the fridge today, we're joined by this man, Jim Chapman. That's me. And we'll be giving you a catch of the day challenge. Okay. And you'll learn five things you can do to improve your pancakes. But first... You've got the ingredients. Sorry. Sorted. I love pancakes, so make me some. Go on. <laughs> So you've asked for pancakes. Mm -hmm. Today we're going for sweet potato pancakes. Two of my favourite things. An awesome breakfast, or, with a little twist, dessert. Okay, cool. Okay, it's very simple, and the way this is going to work is I'm not going to do anything. Brilliant. You're going to take the lead, I'm just going to instruct. So first off, the dry ingredients. So if I give you the flour, yeah. the sugar, yeah. and you just shrunk. Oh yeah, what happened there? <laughs> I just didn't want to start off feeling very, <laughs> very insecure. Then standing on uh, five chopping boards, right? <laughs> it's still too short. Dry ingredients. Yeah. You've got flour, sugar, baking powder, bicarbonate of soda, yeah. and then some spices. So ground cinnamon and nutmeg. You okay. want about half a teaspoon of that and a little grating of that. Fine. All into a bowl and whisked up. Stick them, in, stick them in there, right? And next up, you combine all the wet. So buttermilk. Okay. You can crack one egg in. Okay. And then you can get your whisk in and whisk that. So up. I crack the egg into the buttermilk. Yep. Then you mix it together. You don't want to overwork it, and it's not the end of the world if you've got a few lumps. But by putting wet into dry, you tend to reduce that. Now. I've cheated a little bit because we've got a couple of sweet potatoes and what I did was just stab them, put them in the microwave for about 10 minutes so they cook, then halve them, scoop out the flesh and we've got sweet potato puree. All of it, just in one go? Yep. And then okay. you mix that in. It'll be a little bit lumpy but it's fine, <coughs> it's a really thick batter and the This is a new potato. you, isn't it? You're no, not no. usually like that. All right. Lumps, fine. Undercook it, whatever. Food poisoning, it cares. <laughs> for this recipe, absolutely fine. Lastly, some melted butter. One other thing I've done for you, I have melted some butter for okay. you, but if you put that in there and give it a whisk, that's it. Pancake batter, done. How easy was that? Really easy. Packing in. Hello, mate. So you're going to spoon that into those rings yeah. for three or four minutes on each side. Yeah. We're going to check to see if they're golden, then flip them. So I just scoop them? Just scoop them right in. Okay. And the beauty is it's a non-stick pan, and because you put the butter into the mix... Of course. You don't have dry. to butter the... You're going in dry, yeah. Hey! Hello. Thanks. It's there. You've done it. Thanks very Brunch much. Lunch is on the way. We're going to make a sauce. Okay. Now the interesting thing is I don't know what sauce we're making. Okay. And I don't know how we're making we're it. Making the great thing is you don't have to do anything, Jamie. Jim's right. doing it all. Oh, that's a really good point. What am I telling Jim to do? Grab the small bowl from his left. Grab the small bowl from your left. Yeah. <laughs> then place the mascarpone into the bowl. Place right. the mascarpone. It's Excuse the one. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was fantastic. That was fantastic. Well you done. You two make such a good cup. <laughs> Literally, it's this, an awkward, this, that normally happens to Jamie. It's an awkward cheese. It, it does kind of a mind of its own. Look, it's hard yeah. to get on a spoon. Yeah. Now, basically, you're going to whisk the cream cheese with a double cream and then slowly dribbling the maple as you whisk. So, basically, you're going to whisk slowly. Um, what, what goes in now? So, so, we were going to put some cinnamon in, although we've got cinnamon in our pancakes. Fine. So we just want a little bit. This is the part where I get out of my depth because okay. it's about making things look good. So right. I'm probably going to tag in with Barry. You've, done, that, you've done a brilliant is job. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> Thanks great. very much. Thanks. I'm in. Okay. Hey. Right, now just freestyle it. What do you want to go for? We've got some white chocolate, some pecans here, and of course your sauce. Chop up and start decorating. I think um, pecans. And now it's time for the sexy dribble. And for the sexy dribble, would you mind dribbling in the sexies? Sure. I don't know what that means and what he just it said to me. It means this. Hello. Here we go. Yeah. Really? All right. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, that's so bizarre. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Ooh, very good. You make an pancakes. That. Thanks very much. Mate, they are top pancakes. I mean, I was heavily supervised. Jim, top job, mate. Well, Thanks very much. What a oh. wonderful job. Thank you. Now, in order to put your newly acquired knowledge to the test, right. we'd like to introduce you to a next feature that we like to call Catch of the Day. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask you to remake these pancakes with right. Barry. Okay. Oh. You're going to work together. You're going to make a beautiful stack using the knowledge that you've just learned. Yeah. But there's a catch. 
Ten right. cash today. Go right there. James? <laughs> I mean, I get the catch of the day thing. But... So if you, um, Ben, if you just slightly move out of the way. Jim, if you'd like to just reel that fishing Oh, are you kidding? In. I get to reel in what's coming next. And you'll find out the this catch. Way, this way, surely. Other way. Oh. I hope it's not an actual hook. Your catch is that you need to make and construct these pancakes. Right. And here's your catch. Whilst electric shocked. Question yeah. mark. That's <laughs> a question mark. Whilst electric shocked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is how the challenge is going to work. You guys are gonna to have to recreate the sweet potato pancake recipe. Uh, you are going to be judged every time that you make a mess. Maybe you're not quite as efficient as you should be. Maybe you get the recipe wrong. Mike and Ben over here are in charge of buzzing you. Mike, remember how much I like you. At the same time, I'm gonna be asking you questions, Jim, about your historical videos, yeah. Barry about our historical videos. Right. If you get the answers wrong, guess what's gonna happen? Yeah. Mike and Ben are going oh, to buzz yeah, you. Just <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Shall we begin? No, no, please no. Okay, in three, two, one. Okay. Now, Jim, on the 24th of May, 2015, what? you did some <laughs> baking with a little known up and coming chef called Jamie Olivier, I think his name is. Okay. What did you make? Um, I know it, I know it, I know it. Uh, eating mess? It was not an eating mess. Oh. Really, it was a pavlova. Oh my god, oh no! <laughs> They're the same thing. What level's that on? 35. Crank it. Cr oh! oh! Barry Taylor. Yes. On the 1st of May 2016, we uploaded a fridge cam called Five Ingredient Chocolate Cake. Barry. How many ingredients was it? Can you tell me what those five ingredients were? Right, okay. <laughs> Curveball had a pear in it. Okay, pear, pear is had one of the five it. ingredients. Had, had chocolate, egg, flour, chocolate, <laughs> pear, and a bit of milk. Close, but no cigar. Oh no. <laughs> also on 35, should we crank it? Yeah! Yeah! Crank yeah you've got to keep it. up. Crank it. In your most popular video ever where Joe Sugg waxed your armpits, can you name me two ingredients that went into a special smoothie that he also made you? I don't remember a special smoothie. Do you not? He definitely made you a special smoothie. Chili and ketchup. Chili was one of the right answers, but ketchup did not feature. Uh, you! <laughs> <laughs> That's a reaction! What was that? <laughs> 45. Oh. Barry Taylor, in which recipe episode involving chocolate did you helpfully break the milk chocolate into pieces in a montage? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like Toblerone cheesecake. Uh, Barry, it was the Snickers bar recipe. <laughs> Oh, why did that arm go? That is a lot of mess. I mean, technically that's not sticking to the recipe, is it? Because you needed all of that maple syrup in there. Yeah, but what's that on? Um. Oh, no, don't worry. It's fine. Are you alright? No, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Everything's yeah. going according to plan. Shock him. Shock him. <laughs> what? That what? was noise. <laughs> I think we've decided to work together now and do a stack Fair. together. Because we're both on 100 for final question. Brothers in arms. Perfect. Well, in that case, um, if one person gets a question wrong, you both get shocked. In November 2015, Nathan Wyburn came into Who our studio to teach us about toast art. We received a call from James whilst he was on holiday. Where was James? <laughs> Right. <laughs> this is James. He's a fisher, I know that. He likes fishing. He likes fishing. Where was he on holiday? Well, what I know about James is he likes to cook, so I imagine he went on like some sort of cooking retreat. Okay. He's nodding. Yeah. Um, he was in... It's far away. It's far away. Thanks. Really far. He was in New Zealand cooking lamb. Oh, he was in Australia. Oh, that was so... Oh, my... Whoa! Ah! Oh, my God! <laughs> Why did you do it twice? I didn't know, I only did it once. On the 3rd of January 2016, Jim uploaded a video called What I Got For Christmas. How many t-shirts did his mum get him for Christmas? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know you. What I know you. Question. Right, let me just say, I don't need clothes. I've got a lot of clothes, so I would go low. More than zero. <laughs> <laughs> but less than four? Six. Well, I think less than four. The answer was two. <laughs> oh, 
yes, I won. <laughs> Did Jim? Well, or because of the no, no, yeah. oh, well, because of the advice, maybe. No. We <laughs> also, they're teaming Gee. up. Oh, and uh, yeah, obviously. What? Yeah, the they're, both, <laughs> they're both on the same team as well. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. And that. <laughs> no. And that is our sweet potato pancakes. Sorted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say sorry now because that was twisted and horrible. Uh, I'm sorry. In a weird way, I kind of enjoyed it. That is you weird. Know? Yeah, it is a bit weird. Anyway, that fridge cam had everything. It had the almighty Jim Chapman. If you wanted to go check him out, all the links are down below. Thanks very much. And it also had me shocking both Jamie and Mike 100% to get revenge. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> also, now in the aftertaste, come with us because we're going to show you five things you can do to improve your pancakes. Right, we'll see you next time. You do. Goodbye. <laughs> How was that? I'd get him off now, quick, before I go again. Did it work? Yeah. I feel like one of them didn't work because the screen was off. No, it worked. Was one of you cheating? No, that worked. <laughs> the sweat on the back of the oh. just Look at it. Oh. Well, how much fun was that, everyone? Yeah. Oh. Whilst we're on the topic of pancakes, yeah, here are five ways to make amazing pancakes at every time. Don't get shocked. By others. Tip one. <laughs>